So how'd you meet this lady? Uh, I was partying at Pacific Beach in San Diego. And what, what attracted you to them? I was drunk. She was skinny, white girl, maybe like 5'8". We was dancing, vibes was getting cool. So, you know, I was there with a couple of my other friends and we said, you know, let's go back to the little office space that we had rented out. You rented an office space? Why? I didn't rent it. It's my lawyer's office space. So, you know, we all went back there. Okay, so you you are like a paralegal or? No, I have a lawyer and we oh. cool. So I was partying with him and we went back to his office space. And so who who all, how many people are there at this office space? It's maybe about six. And what happened at the office? At the office, I took her down to a conference room, you know, teach her a few lessons. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another. I was fingering her. And then I seen something on the bitch's back, and I thought it was a mole. <laughs> you feel me? So wait, give me the position. Like, was she on her back, or on her front? She was like arch. Like, I mean, if it would be anything, it'd be doggy style. Okay, and like bent over like a table or? Yeah, like a conference table. And so you see this mole, and then what happens? Then I start smelling the air, like, and uh, I was like, "What the f is that smell? That shit smells trash." And I really open my eyes and I look and I'm like, this bitch just shit it. And she like thinking it's cute and funny. Well, so, so did you mention it to her or how'd this come up? Absolutely. I grabbed the Kleenex box, I threw it at her, I said, bitch, clean this up. And she started laughing? Yes, yeah, she was weird. Now how did it, if she was arched up, how did it come from out of her? She was arched back, bro, like that. Like, how did it get from inside her to outside her? Tell me. I don't know if the finger in action, I like scooped it from the wrong hole or something. I don't know. Maybe I was in the wrong You Maybe never know. Maybe I was in her hole and so you I didn't see it happen, in other words. I did. I never saw it coming, dog. All right. And so, the, so she's laughing. You're giving her a tissue. Then what happens? I didn't give her a tissue. I threw the box of tissues at her because she don't deserve to be given a tissue if she sh on me. Well, and not then, on you, but around you. And then you. after that, I kicked her out. Oh, but before that happened, her stupid ass friend pulled the fire alarm and the alarm started going out oh. in the entire office space. That's like, well, did you, so she was having a good time. Did you get any action for yourself? I mean, no, because I had to kick her out after she shitted on me. Like, come on. But like later that night, you didn't meet a girl or anything? Or? I was done at that point. I just wanted to go home. Okay. So what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is don't let a bitch on you and if you do at least you got a cool story to tell so you never saw her again did you never she follows me on snapchat she wrote me i won't write her back ever a dirty pooping but now hold on you've never had anything embarrassing like that happen to you ever in your life i've never shitted on anyone no let me let me go on record saying this i have never shitted on anyone okay, okay but like maybe that's a compliment to you though you you were doing such a good job with your hands on her though no, the bitch was just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like skinny, tall, pretty, little white girl, right? Yeah, but I mean, once you see this, like, I can't even see the beauty through it no more, you know? Like, you're not my girlfriend. You're not just about to be shitting with no avail. Come on now, have some pride. Speaking of which, happy pride. Happy pride, baby.